At least one third of the food we eat depends on bees and other insects to pollinate the crops. Yet these vitally important creatures are declining in numbers because the flowers that supply their food have quite simply disappeared under buildings, roads, paths and car parking spaces. Britain is known as a nation of gardeners and if each one of us were to think pollinator when planning our gardens, we could start to redress the balance by providing nourishment and resting places for important insects such as bees, butterflies, hoverflies and moths. All it takes is a small area of wildflower meadow. Meadow mat wildflower mats contain 34 species of native wildflowers and grasses to attract and support a wide range of insects. But it is especially useful to pollinating insects. Easier to establish than seed, meadow mat only asks for a sunny spot and an annual haircut, and it will reward you with a long flowering season and plenty of things to look at for many years. If you don't have space for a mini meadow, why not install a living green roof to provide food for butterflies and bees? All you need is a sturdy building with a flat or gently sloping roof. Using Environmat cedar matting, the average shed roof can become a wildlife penthouse in a matter of hours. Bees and butterflies adore sedum flowers, and Environmat will bloom from spring to autumn, providing high quality nectar and giving you something more interesting to look at than plain, bare roofing felt. Don't forget too that a living green roof has other benefits. Amongst other things, it will double the lifespan of your waterproofing and insulate your building against heat, cold and noise.